So I guess YouTube is kind of becoming a home of a lot of, you know, shows past and present, if not recently, um, you know, come to an end, if you will. You know, they're becoming home to a lot of episodes, if you will. And not just some of the new stuff. Like, you know, we have MLP, G5's Tell Your Tale. We had uh, the stop motion claymation stuff with the uh, with G4 and all, the, and all that. But now, speaking of G4, Friendship is Magic, it seems that along with Tell Your Tale, the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic channel, I guess the official uh, channel, is once in a while, every couple of months, maybe every month if they get an opportunity to do so, uh, but every few months, they are putting out one, two, maybe three at most, maybe four at most, I'm not really sure, but it looks like they are putting out uh, full-length episodes of Friendship is Magic. Yeah, they're putting out full-length episodes of Friendship is Magic on their official YouTube page. And... It's kind of a, it's that's kind of amazing to see. Now I think they started doing this at the end of last year or around last year. They started doing this, and like I said, it's every few months. Recently, they just uploaded the two-part pilot, "Friendship is Magic," basically when Twilight meets her the rest of the main six for the first time, her and Spike. So that's kind of cool. They even have fall weather fan friends. They have Winter Wrap-Up, I believe. And I think they have another one um, as well. Uh, but yeah, they're putting out some episodes every once in a while uh, on their channel. And the reason I bring this up is because it seems that YouTube, over the past several years, um, like I said, have been coming, has been becoming the outlet for a lot of these episodes, for a lot of shows. I mean, last year... It was announced by Hasbro on the official, I think, Hasbro Pulse channel here on YouTube that they were going to release um, every week, every week, um, a different season of Transformers Generation 1 from season 1 to 4. And that's what they did. They went from more than meets the eye in season 1 to the rebirth in season 4, which I was cool with. Because, hey, if you don't want to keep looking around like at places like Tubin and, and all that, then all you have to do is go to YouTube, there you go. And they're not the only ones. Wild Brain, Wild Brain, who are the people behind the upcoming Sonic Prime show on, on Netflix, Wild Brain actually, um, you know, has been releasing, uh, I think for the past couple of years, a lot of Sonic stuff you know, on their channel. Uh, whether it's, you know, two episodes put together in one video, whether it's, you know, one episode each, you know, on its own, they've been doing it. And it's not just, you know, let's say adventures, it's also underground, it's also Sat AM. They've been doing all that. And even Christmas Blast, I think, is on there. So that's pretty cool to see. But again, they're not the only ones. You also have this, um, what is it, this Retro Run channel, or whatever it, is, whatever it is, Retro Rerun channel. And you have, you have episodes, complete series episodes of Wildcats from the action, from the CBS uh, Action Zone, uh, CBS Action Zone, I should say, excuse me there. Jim Lee's Wildcats. You have all the episodes there. You're getting some episodes, if not all the episodes of like, you know, not just on Retro Run, but on their own channels of the real Ghostbusters and, of course, the spin-off Slimer on the real Ghostbusters. You're, you know, you're getting the extreme Ghostbusters. And then Filmation, or at least Universal and DreamWorks, who owns the Filmation library, has been putting out on the official He-Man and the Masters of the Universe channel uh, a lot of the classic Filmation He-Man, a lot of the classic Filmation She-Ra, and the Secret of the Sword movie. So it's just really amazing to see all this animation, if you will, that we grew up with in the 80s, the 90s, and even up to today, where, you know, not only 
we have the new generation growing up with it, but basically we as adults have become fans of it. You know, uh, it's just amazing to see all of this, you know, not just on other services like Paramount Plus and Netflix and Disney and, and HBO Max and stuff, but to see it all gathered together on YouTube, you know, and for free, it's, it's mind-blowing. I mean, hit, I mean, look. We all are critical at times about YouTube. Let's let's not be daft about that, okay? Let's not be daft about that. And I know that's kind of a weird word for me to use. But let's not be uh, daft about it, okay? We all know that YouTube sometimes can have issues with its content creators. I mean, Angry Joe has had issues with them recently because of some, some of his reviews. And he doesn't like that. But besides that, besides these issues, you know, it's hard to believe that, again, like I said, you know, you, you, get, you have this service, you have this streaming platform where you yourself and myself can upload our own content to share with the world. And along with our content, we're able to go onto different plat, uh, diff not platforms, but different areas if you will, of YouTube and be able to watch a lot of the things we grew up on or we became a fan, of, we've grew up, grown up on, on, I should say, in the past and that we've become fans of in the recent uh, present. So it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see. I mean, I mean, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Hell of a Boss is one of the biggest animated adult, animated, was one of the biggest animated, adult animated surprises out there to date along with Has-Been Hotel. And Hell of a Boss, you know, is fan-funded and everything, fan-funded and supported and all that, but, you know, you know, uh, with, with, Vivi, with uh, Vizipop or Vizipop, if you will. And think about this. You can create your own Saturday morning lineup, if you will, with all this content and your own Saturday evening, Friday evening lineup. Because you can go, I mean, think about it this way. You can go Voltron, because you have Voltrons on there too, the original Voltron. You can go Voltron, cla classic Voltron from 83. You can go Sonic Sat AM, you know, as the next show to watch. You could go uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Then you could go He-Man. Then you could go She-Ra. You can go Transformers G1, and then to top it off, you can say, okay, what do I end my block with, my self-made block with? Oh, I know, hell of a boss. <laughs> and there you go. I mean, if you would have told anybody that, hey, I have the opportunity to do this now, create my own little Saturday morning self-made playlist with all my favorites, including some new stuff, and you're saying, yeah, I'm going to begin it with you know, the classic Voltron from the early 80s, and I'm going to close it with the new Hell of a Boss series. If you would have told somebody that like a couple of years ago when YouTube started to allow this to happen, started to let the studio partners make this happen, you know, if you would have said that a couple of years ago, nobody, and I'll be honest with you, nobody would have believed you whatsoever. But let me know what your thoughts are on this. Comment below, live chat during the premiere. And I will talk to you later, but let me know what your thoughts are.